Hi guys, hi, how's it going? How are you doing today? Hopefully today finds you well. Today I am doing my top summer palettes. These are just palettes that when I look at them, they scream summer to me, palettes that I hope to be pulling for this summer as we are finally seeing some sunshine here in Western Washington. Palettes that I'd love to know if you concur. Are these summertime palettes in your humble opinion? or other time of the year palettes. Today is the 4th of July and I am feeling festive and I have done my eyes in a festive way and I'm taking advantage of the day off work to get some filming done, but you might hear some loud booms in the background. Fireworks are happening. I don't burn my money away. I go watch other people's fireworks. So that is what we're doing later tonight. But I thought I'd take advantage of the time and the day and come to you with this video. All that aside, I don't typically do my makeup in a seasonal way. But there are certain palettes in my collection that do scream summertime palette to me, whether I'm using them in the fall or the winter or wherever I'm using them. So those are the palettes that I'm bringing you to you today. I hope that you're here for it. I would love for you to stick around, enjoy the content, and subscribe before you go. For those of you who are new here who are not subscribed yet, hello, my name is Donna. I am a field leader for Ulta Beauty. I get a lot of education in my position. I like to bring you that education here, but ultimately I'm just out here talking about makeup because I like to talk about makeup and um, palettes are my favorite thing to talk about. So let's just jump into it. Let's just talk about some palettes. This red lip is not this intense cherry in person. It actually looks quite pink in camera, but it's actually a little more subdued than it appears. That said, it's making me a little bit uncomfortable to be on camera with this red lip. I feel like my skin tone can't pull it off, but <laughs> that said, I have several palettes sitting in front of me that I would like to go over with you today that are palettes that really scream summer to me. Um, so when I think of summer, I think of bright, festive, colorful makeup looks, a lot more oranges and a lot more reds and pinks, greens, right? Some chartreuses, some really bright, bold colors for summertime. I also like swing the other way and from a neutral perspective also really feel a bronzy look as well. Like that no makeup makeup look during summer to me is more of like a bronzy eyeshadow, a bronzy face, a bronzy shimmery like sun kissed look. So you're going to find a little plethora of all the things in here and we're going to start with in no particular order. I've got two stacks sitting in front of me, one very small, one very large. The first one I have here is the BH Cosmetics Weekend Festival palette. And this is probably one of the first palettes that I got from BoxyCharm way back in the day. And this is how I fell in love with BH Cosmetics. Between this and the Zodiac palette, I was smitten with BH Cosmetics from that point forward. Now BH is no longer a brand, but I really feel like this palette embodies summer because you have the the neutral tones over here where you could get just a really beautiful sun-kissed bronzy look but you also have the really bright tones over here that really speak to my soul in terms of a summertime look and i feel like i could pull for this palette multiple times this summer and not get bored. So that is a palette that I am like radaring into for summertime usage. Another one that is bright and festive would be the Ace Beauty Nostalgia palette. This one reminds me of summer in a box too, but you know, my a friend of mine told me that hers has mold on it while I was watching a friend of mine's video and mine does too. I don't know if you guys can see this, but like this shade right here, it's this shade, you guys can see that. And this shade here, there's mold. We're gonna push this, we're gonna get rid of this palette. This palette is going in the garbage. Garbage, as sad as that is. There's mold all over in it. Thank you, Andy. Thank you. That's very sad. I think that's the first time I've ever experienced that. 
I have the Blend Bunny Surge palette, and I'm not sure if this palette reminds me of summer so much because of these colors as it does because of these down here. Like these two bottom rows here scream summer in my humble opinion. The neons, the bright vibrant color stories, the beautiful like vibrant shimmers. Like I really do feel like this one is a good summer palette as well. Um, and really puts, really kind of gives the same vibes as this one here. This one's no different. Again, bright summery colors. Who doesn't love the ABH Alyssa palette? Like this is summer in a nutshell. I do think it came out in the summertime season as well. So really, truly beautiful pinks in here, truly beautiful purples in here. I also love that for the most part in this palette, every single one of the mattes in this palette has a corresponding shimmer. It's a beautiful summertime eyeshadow palette. We'll be pulling for that. This one, I didn't think I was going to love, and I think that my palette roulette on it said the same thing, but this is the Nomad Cartagena Mahika palette, and this is what this one looks like. I mean, God, this row right here, sunshine. I see a ball of sun, and the, the sun ray is coming off of it, and all of the heat just trying to reach out and grab you. This is definitely summertime in a palette. And then I have the Nomad, uh, Nomad, the Odin's Eye palette with Betty Jean in Planet Spirit. She really did a good job of making this a colorful but tasteful and not a rainbow palette. And it is such a summertime staple in my humble opinion. These oranges again, these greens are beautiful. These pinks are beautiful. And again, every single one of the matte shades in this palette has a corresponding shimmer for you to use and just get like kind of a one palette, two color eyeshadow look out of. This one was probably my first like summertime love palette. This is the Lunar Beauty Strawberry Dream palette. I always want to call it Strawberry Moon because the moon on it, but this is such a beautiful palette and every single look I have done with this palette looks very summer and also looks so good. Like this is just a truly cotton candy sky pink lover's dream and I love this palette so so much the only shade I don't love in it is this gold here because I'm not really fond of a yellow gold like this but I really do think that it brings something to the palette that is necessary another bright one but leans on the edge of could be like a bronzy like sun-kissed look is this Violet Boss Flamingo palette. This is such a beautiful eyeshadow palette. It's got like those bright like beach bally shades to it but it's also got like a level of neutrals down here that just would create a beautiful summertime like eyeshadow look that is now I'm paranoid that I'm going to be finding mold in my shadows. I guess it's a good a good way to be but it also has that level of like neutrality to it that helps you get a good like bronzy colored sun-kissed eye look as well. And then I have also this one which is the Escape Pod by Kaleidos. This was a favorite palette for me the year that I tried it out. I think like two years ago it was my number one palette. It might have been three years ago at this point, but this is what this one looks like. Again, those bright summery shades, but also a level of neutrality here where you can pull out like those bronzed sun-kissed looks for a no makeup makeup type look. I have a couple more that are really, really um, fun and colorful. One of them being the Huda Beauty Coral Obsessions palette. This one I think is not so much colorful as it is those sun-kissed bronzy looks that you get when this when your skin is touched by the sun. 
I feel like this one could lean very no makeup makeup. It does have a couple of pops of different colors in it that kind of bring it out into the more colorful realm, but it's very, very neutral and just a really beautiful like sun-kissed look comes from this nine times out of ten. I also have a Viseart palette that is literally called Mini Soleil or the Pro 5, Petite Pro 5 Soleil. So Soleil means sun and this definitely reminds me of a summer palette. One thing that I love about this palette too, which I don't love about very many palettes, is there's only three mattes in here and the rest of them are shimmers or satins. And I think that Viseart satins just kind of lay on the eyes in such a seamless way that it almost looks like you're not wearing anything, but you are sparkling from the sun and sparkling like Edward <laughs> from the sun. But these are just stunning. They're just stunning shadows. They lay so perfectly on you, on your skin. And they do create such a fun, colorful, summery eye look, but also a really beautiful, like, bronzy eye look. I would be remiss if I did not add this one to the mix. This is the NARS Summer Unrated palette. So all of their eyeshadow palettes are limited edition palettes. And this one I got a couple years ago. And this one, honestly, yes, I love it so much. But... Almost every single NARS palette is the same, so it doesn't make me want to go buy the next limited edition palette because they're all pretty much the same, honestly. But this is just such a beautiful bronzy eyeshadow palette that creates such beautiful summertime one and done like eyeshadow looks or kissed by the sun no makeup makeup looks that I would be remiss without mentioning it in my summer palette lineup. Another one that's along those same veins that I'm actually pretty surprised about is the Revolution Beauty Ultimate Nudes Medium Palette but it has the same kind of feel as the NARS Summer Unrated palette does and really creates such beautiful eye looks. I think that you guys can see I have use this one quite a bit for somebody who isn't number one a drugstore guru and another who doesn't really love drugstore and I know that I've mentioned a few times on my channel every time I buy anything from Revolution Beauty I'm mad at myself for doing so but this came to me in gratis and I'm so so happy that it did because this is truly a stunning palette and I love pulling for it during the summertime when I want just a regular old plain old bronzy look. This one is another one that reminds me of summer and it is the Natasha Denona Sunrise Palette and I think that it has got the perfect again the perfect balance of the neutrality to it where you can just really pull out a beautiful sun-kissed eye look and the fun, right? So I can pull out a beautiful bronzy sun-kissed eye look, pop a little bit of yellow into the inner corner and feel really, really put together and not have done much to my eye look. Or I could pull out a really beautiful, like rosy, fuchsia toned, beautiful pink party, like summer party eye look and get everything I need out of this palette. Another one that's super colorful is going to be this one. This is my Sugar Pill Mini uh, Fun Size Palette and it's so funny to me how little I use this during the regular other parts of the year but how much I zone in on utilizing this palette during the summertime. It's a really pretty like pastel -y palette but I also love it for blending out any of the more deeper shades of the same family in an eye look. This is a really great palette for light but also bright summertime looks. It's also a really great palette to blend out some of the like more uh, pigmented or deeper shades that I have in the other palettes that I have slated for summertime palettes. I have this one, which is my Melt Vita. And this one screams summer to me so, so much. Again, with the like crazy, like bright greens, chartreuse greens, but also all of these like sunshiny, ball of sun, ray, 
Ray Ray kind of eye looks that you're going to get from this. It's a very summertime palette, whereas its counterpart is a very moody, like maybe wintertime palette. On, there was little speckles of something on this, and I thought this palette was moldy as well, and that would have broke my heart. This one will not go in the garbage. This one would go into my memories drawer. Last but not least, of the palettes that I've used and the palettes that I have currently open and going in my collection, I have the Natasha Denona Bronze palette. Now, when I pulled this in, I didn't love this palette, but I think I didn't love this palette because I wasn't thinking of it in terms of a beautiful, summery, like sun-kissed, bronzed look. I was thinking of it in terms of this is a brown eyeshadow palette, it should be a brown eyeshadow palette, but it isn't. It's a bronze eyeshadow palette and these are not categorically are not some of my favorite shades, but I love this palette for just the simplicity of it, but also the duality of creating some really pigmented, beautiful sun-kissed eye looks specifically wrapped around summertime. This is a palette that I don't think about any other time of the year except for summer. Whereas the other ones I would I would use multiple different times a year. So that is it. Tell me um, in the comments section what your thoughts are on the palettes that I have my mind on utilizing in the next three months over the summertime season or maybe just six weeks over the summertime season here in Western Washington. Who knows? The sun is barely starting to come out now and it's still not even warm. I self tanned today because I can't get a tan in Western Washington. <laughs> I'm also wearing red lipstick, which I never wear. So I would be interested to hear your thoughts down in the comment section. Don't forget to hit your girl up. I love it when we're able to communicate down there and I'm still in a place where I'm answering every single what are responding to every single comment that comes through on my in my comment section. So we have um, quite a few of you newbies here, but I do respond. Sometimes it takes me a couple of days or so, but I do respond to everything. So do not forget to hit me up in the comment section. And with that said, just you know, thank you guys. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for spending moments of your time with me. I hope that you are all well, that you are all safe and healthy and getting along as best you can, that you are all loving each other, being kind humans, and just living your best life. And until next time, bye friends. Look at the red. I'm super sad about this palette. Look at the mold. Can you guys see the mold? Oh yeah, you can see the mold. There's also mold in this one up there, down here. I don't see any mold in this one. I don't see any mold in the mats, but this has got to go in the trash. Thank you so much, Andy. I appreciate you because you're the one that even clued me in that it might be in there. Now I'm going to go through the rest of my Ace Beauté palettes and see if there's any more mold.